What's the update on the um, Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy? Uh, the update on the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy is that we have enough funds at present, Bob and David, to cover most of the renovations that have to be done on the Honorable Marcus Garvey Elementary School. We're not talking about the Honorable Frederick Douglass High School. We don't have any funds to renovate that at present. We're focusing hmm. on the small school. And the one expense that we cannot cover that may keep us from opening up the school on New Year's Day is the HVAC, HVAC. That bill looks like it's going to cost us about a quarter of a million dollars, 250000 hmm. and we don't have it. So what we've done is we've started a loyal donors program and we're asking all supporters of FDMG calls and Dr. Umar and supporters of independent black education to please go to my website, drumarjohnson.com, and sign up to be a loyal donor in the all-new Loyal Donors Club. Mm -hmm. What this is, it's a club where you will subscribe to be a bronze member, which is $50 a month, automatic debit, uh, silver, which is $100 a month, gold, $250 a month, platinum, $500 a month, and diamond, which is $1,000 a month. And the beauty of the Loyal Donors Club is that the money is automatically donated from you to the school every month. See, up until now, Brother David, for the six years we've been raising money, we've had to depend on people to make recurring donations. Mm -hmm. And our people have been very good with doing so. But not everybody has been good with doing so. So the Loyal Donors Club eliminates the need for you to have to remember to donate. It's automatic when mm -hmm. you register. And that allows us to uh, plan and predict how much funds we'll have available to meet said repair. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're asking everybody to do. Go to DrUmarJohnson.com. Please subscribe. The lowest is bronze. $50 a month. Some mm -hmm. of us spend more than that on lunch, on dinner, on fingernails, gas money, you know, mess around money. So if everybody could subscribe, Brother David, I think that's less than $2 a day. Like you say, spend that exactly. on the soda. Exactly. But we also want to say this for brothers and sisters, for whatever reason, who cannot commit to at least the $50 a month or more who can only make random donations, please continue to do so. Please continue to go to Cash at me slash uh, dollar sign FDMG school or to paypal.me slash FDMG academy. Again, on the cash app, the arm, the donation arm is dollar sign FDMG school. And on PayPal, the donation arm is FDMG academy. And of course, they can mail in their donations to P.O. Box 9634, Wilmington, Delaware, 19809. Please continue to donate if you're a random donor. We're just asking people who are able to and are ready to take the next step in their commitment to creating independent black education. Please go to the website and, and, and sign up for one of the five levels, or you can text me, and I'll text you the links, 215-989-9858. The links are textable. Anybody can text me to sign up as well. Now, the alternative, Brother David, is the alternative. So we still need everybody to sign up for the Loyal Donors Club regardless. But the alternative is if we could find a black HVAC contractor or company with commercial experience who is licensed, who could go to Delaware and turn their license over, which only takes a few weeks, and who would be willing to donate their labor to making the repairs, whereas we would be responsible for paying for all the materials. The reason why the HVAC bill is so high, Brother David, is because we have to replace the heating and cooling unit on the roof of the Marcus Garvey Academy. That unit is going to cost us about $80,000. We also have to replace the heating and cooling unit on the small gymnasium, the Nat Turner Gymnasium. That one is going to cost almost about 80000 as well. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, more about half of the 250 is material. Uh, that we can pay mm -hmm. the material, but we cannot pay the labor. The labor cost is the highest cost. Yes. Yeah. You know, I know when you, when, you, uh, buy, when you have your house renovated, you know, you, it's, it's the labor they always get you with. The labor. 
It's the labor, not the material. Yeah. And to be honest with you, Brother David, I'm a little disappointed because, as you know, before we bought the school, and I think we talked about this last month, before we bought the school, every contractor was out there screaming about how they were going to help me get the school up once we had a building. I can tell you right now, and I want all your listeners to hear me clearly, not a single one in the country, not a single black contractor, not electric, not carpentry, not plumbing, not sprinkler system, not fire system, not a single contractor has came forward and said, I will do this at no cost. I will volunteer. I will donate my time, me and or my company. And the ones who have said they would volunteer, Brother David, aren't able to volunteer because they live nowhere near the school and have done nothing to get their licenses transferred over. So in other words, you may get a phone call from somebody saying, I offered to help them with the electric. I offered to help them with the plumbing. Your next question should be, did you ever get your licenses converted over to Delaware? Because if you didn't, you cannot do any work on that building. And nobody to date, Brother David, nobody has gotten their licenses transferred over to Delaware so they can help me do the job. Not so, one person. Now, if, if a person, if a contractor has his license converted to Delaware, does that mean he's not able to contract in other states and only limited no, to sir. Delaware? Or is it just extended no, to Delaware? Delaware becomes an extra state. Right. In other words, right. yeah, if he's licensed in Pennsylvania, now he's licensed in Pennsylvania That's right. Delaware. That's right. And you know what? I often wonder about that because I was thinking about that before you came on the show today. Uh, just about that, because I looked at the... Um, UNIA building down on Cecil B. Moore Avenue, which I'm sure you're familiar with, and I said to myself, it's gotten a little better now, but for years it's, it laid in disrepair. And I said, why is it that we don't have people in our community, contractors, brick masons, you know, carpenters, electricians that could go in there and bring that building up to a, a world-class building? I just could not understand it. And, you know, we talk about, you know, uh, you know, why don't we get together and do something? And then people say, well, if we had one specific target to focus on, uh, why not focus on a building like that? Why not focus on a, a school for uh, young boys and young girls? Why wouldn't we want to put our money invested in our children's futures? What I don't understand, I'm going to be a committed, um, what, do you, what do you call it, member, donor. Starting next month, I'm going to commit at least the $50 a month. Or uh, maybe, maybe I don't know. Maybe you should have a, a fan membership. Maybe twenty five dollars a month. I don't know. But I'm going to I'm going to make some kind of donation because I'm tired of looking at people. They talk that stuff, but when you say we're the money, they don't show up. They do not show up, brother David. And also, we want people to know that the loyal donors does come with perks and benefits. For example, the Loyal Donor Club will be the first to see the school when it's renovated. There will be a private reception and dinner for all members of the Loyal Donor Club. That's whether you're bronze, silver, gold, platinum, or diamond. Mm -hmm. They will be the first to get into that school. Mm -hmm. Also, whenever we have events on the campus, there will be a special reception for the Loyal Donors. They will get T-shirts. They will get keychains. They will get regular paraphernalia mailed out to them from FDMG. So you will definitely enjoy being a, reg a, a loyal donor club member because it definitely has its benefits. There'll be special activities, trips, and events just for those who are loyal donors. Well, you know, not only the loyal donors, but even back to the contractors. I mean, if I had that skill, and I, to, I would say, well, I would go there because then I'll be able to say, historically, I helped to build this school. You know, I, my you. name is on the building as one Absolutely. of the builders. I mean, that will go on for years and years and years. If You know, people, politicians especially, they, they think they're doing something. The only thing they ever get at the end of their term is a street named after them. Exactly, exactly. And one of the things we're going to do in the park there, uh, Bobby David, between the Garvey School Building and the Nat Turner Gymnasium, there is a park. And one of the things that we're looking at doing is getting the names of the donors inscribed on a rock that will be permanently affixed in that park. So it may be carved in the shape of Africa, and you'll be able to visit and find the name of every donor listed. So just like when you go to the African-American Civil War Museum in Washington, they have that granite stone with the names of all of the black soldiers uh, who participated in the Civil War. We're going to have something beautiful made just like that 
for all of our donors. The Loyal Donor Club members, they have a special designee. Also, our highest contributing donors uh, will have a special designee, but all of our donors' names will be on that stone. So we're looking into that now. They will definitely, those who have helped us, they will not regret it in the end. They will definitely be memorialized, you know, and honored in the way that it's fitting to people who support things like this. Because what's going to happen, Bob David, is once the school is up, everybody's going to want to support then. Everybody's going to want to come around then. But we need people to get get with us on the ground level. Because as I said, we can cover every expense except the HVAC. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Well, we have a caller from calling from uh, New Orleans who wants to jump into the conversation. I want to say good evening, Eric. How you doing today? Hey, God bless you, good brothers. How y'all doing today? Good, thank you. Good. Yeah, I made a donation a couple of months ago. We'll continue to make donations. Um, but, you know, um, as you all may remember back in the day, they had, like, Little Leagues, and the Little Leagues had, like, sponsorships. Mm-hmm. Um, or sponsors. Um, Dr. Umar, what do you think about, like, uh, daycare centers? Use them as a sponsor because that'd be good promotions for a daycare center to be associated with your school or a braiding shop or a barber shop. That would be an excellent way for them to market their business if they became a sponsor for the school. What, what do you think about sponsorships? Um, we're looking into a sponsorship package. Our biggest concern mm-hmm. with the sponsorships uh, primarily relates to whether or not the organizations. Um, really have the consciousness Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. the type of perspective on black education that we have. In other words, they're going to need to represent us as much as we represent them, you know. Mm -hmm. And so we're we're considering a couple of things, but at the same time, we kind of want to maintain our independence, you know, as it relates to, you know, as it relates to our image and what we stand for, because there's just not a lot of black businesses and organizations, daycare centers included, who come from a strong mm-hmm. revolutionary pan-African nationalist foundation. But we are, right. we're definitely looking into something like that, where if you become a business sponsor, we will advertise you, you will be promoted at all FTMG events. But of course, those donations are going to have to be higher than what we are expecting from individual mm-hmm. contributors. So with the business, we, you know, we may be starting at 500. We may be starting at the platinum number. Mm-hmm. Them. They wouldn't be able to get in at a 50 or 100 or 200. Mm-hmm. Corporate level. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is there like a director of Afrocentric businesses uh, in Philadelphia that you all know of that, like you said, would be a reputable um, representation of, your, of the school? Or? Uh, I mean, they're all over the country. We wouldn't limit it to Philly. Uh, we wouldn't limit it to okay. Delaware, you know, right. because the donations that got us to where we are came from all over the world, actually. In fact, I will have to do my research, but this school might very well be the first school in American history that was built with a contribution from every single African country in the world. I was going to ask you about that. Are you yeah, able to accept involved. donations from... Uh, oh, yes. Uh, oh, globally, there you go. And, and we get them. And we get them. See, we were limited until we got the PayPal uh, reactivated because mm-hmm. Cash App doesn't work in other countries. But once we got mm-hmm. the PayPal reactivated a few weeks ago, now we have regular African donors, regular United Kingdom donors. I just had a brother donate just now while I'm on the phone with you from Panama City, Panama. Mm-hmm. So PayPal okay. has allowed us to be more global with the contributions. But as I was saying, with the with the possible exception. With the possible exception of the Honorable Marcus Garvey uh, Universal Liberty uh, University that the UNIA once operated in Virginia and the Booker T. Washington University that they once operated in New York. But those were universities, not grade schools. Mm -hmm. I think this may very well be the first grade school probably in modern African world history that was built with funds donated by every single African community in the world. I don't think there's a nation or a country that we have not received at least one contribution from. Well, you know, now I know that you've spoken before about uh, Akon and having to be careful about accepting a lot of money from the Chinese because I believe they gave him a, a half a billion dollar uh, mm-hmm. line of credit. But you're saying he should be careful not to be overwhelmed and taken over by that what if somebody wanted to make an extremely large contribution like like say uh the Ghanaian government wanted to uh, contribute uh, several million dollars but then they wanted to have some uh, input into the operation 
Absolutely. Um, I would be accepting of that because it's an African government versus a non-African government. I don't really see that as a conflict of interest, uh, you know, Ghana being as pan-Africanist as it is in terms of ideology and outlook. I think that would be, you know, that would definitely be welcomed and accepted. Uh, I know we got some African millionaires on the continent. I don't know how progressively thinking they are. Mm -hmm. You know, there seems to be a tendency when black people get wealthy, they like to hold on to their wealth and not really invest it, mm. you know. And, and, and then, of course, they also seek to use their wealth to become even wealthier, which is great. But at the same time, they don't really look to invest. And when they do, it's not really into their own people, you know. So that, that that's another challenge that we have. But I'm very optimistic. I'm very optimistic about what we have. Uh, to the brother's point, we will be looking into the sponsorship uh, the sponsorship option for businesses, you know, I think that will be a good thing. We've talked about it for years, but again, we did have some reservations, uh, some of them which I expressed, but we're going to go back to that drawing board. And the other thing I want to announce too, Brother David, in terms of fundraising to m make this 250000 for the HVAC repairs, is that we're going to be raffling off two tickets, excuse me, three total tickets. One will be single, and two will come as a package. In other words, you can buy a $125 raffle for an all-expense-paid trip two weeks, two countries, 14 mm. days, 14 nights, with Dr. Umar Johnson on my next trip to Africa next spring mm. or summer. And you do it every year. I do it every year. And this next one, you can buy a $125 raffle and get that $5,000 all-expense-paid trip for free. And the other raffle is you'll pay $250. And if you win that one, you will get a $10,000 trip for two people. So we're going two couples. to be... Uh, mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, one couple and then one single. So you can pay 125 for the single raffle trip. Oh. And, or you can pay 250 for the two-person trip. Oh. So if you pay 250 and you win, you can take somebody with you. It'll be two persons. And if you pay 125 it'll just be you. Okay, and you can sign up for both raffles, meaning if you win both, you can go, and then you got two other tickets. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to do that because I know there's a lot of Africans around the world, especially in the country and, and here in the Western Hemisphere, who never been to the mother continent, can't afford it. Here's an opportunity for you to go. $125 may get you a $5,000 all-expense-paid, two-country, two-week, 14 days, 14, 19, 14 day night trip with Dr. Umar or pay two hundred and fifty dollar raffle and you will win two packages, one for you and one for your friend, your cousin, your husband, your mm -hmm. wife, your mom, your dad, your next door neighbor, and that's a ten thousand dollar package, all expenses paid, and you only have to put out two hundred and fifty dollars for the raffle. Now um I know that you're not no stranger to that because as we just mentioned, you know, you do these uh annual tours to Africa each year, then you also do an annual college tour for uh, students as well. Absolutely. And we will be uh, reinitiating the Black College and Consciousness Tour. Uh, we will be doing that again next spring. And I'm looking at two tours. I'm looking at a spring one and a summer. And I'm also looking at making one of them for adults. Because when I did the first Black College and Consciousness Tour back in 15 or 16, a lot of adults had said they wanted to go. Mm -hmm. They said, listen, I'm not going to college or already been mm -hmm. to college, but I want to go to Harriet Tubman grade. I want to go to the Frederick Douglass House. I want to go to the Nat mm -hmm. Turner War Trail. You know, I've never been mm -hmm. to Hampton. I've never been to Howard. And I would like to do something like that just for my own personal knowledge and experience. So we may do one for adults and then another for the youth. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to mention those things because I just want to let people know this is not just something that you just thought of. This is something that you've been doing annually. And, and now you're giving other people an opportunity to participate in that by doing a raffle. As a matter of fact, you know, I've been letting a little secret out. You know, Michael Griffin and I were talking about doing a, a raffle type thing in Africa to get here exactly. to America. Get your visas, get your passport, it's paid, just be part of the raffle. Exactly. Exactly. Absolutely. So we're going to be rolling that raffle out real soon. Uh, we haven't yet decided on the countries. We're looking at Kenya, Uganda, and Rwanda. That's what we're looking at. Mm. But it could very well end up being Ghana, Togo, Benin. It could end up being Kemet and um, Ethiopia. So we're not certain on the countries yet, but we're certain we will be going. And we're certain it will be two African countries. So for those who want to support and get something out of it, 
you know, I look for them to uh, definitely uh, sign up for the raffle and, and I, I be wanted, able to send. Go ahead. I wanted to say to Eric uh, from New Orleans, he, he uh, does support our programs. He, he's a frequent listener to WURD, and he supports some of our uh, host uh, people like Professor Carlton Jones when he was uh, promoting his uh, Independence Day project, and and uh, I just found out from him now today that he had sent you know, donations to uh, the school for you. And I just wanted to point that point that out that you know, even as far away as New Orleans, we got supporters more so than people right here in Philadelphia. So I want yeah, to thank you, Eric, for that, man. You know, and, and, and thank you, Brother Eric. Thank mm-hmm. you for that. Mm-hmm. I was actually in New Orleans. I, I, I kicked off this my Black Spring, Spring Boot right? Camp. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. uh, February the 1st, I believe it was. Saturday, February okay. the 1st, I did the very first Black Parent Boot Camp in New Orleans. And I will be coming back right. down there uh, for right. a book release. And I've basically okay. been telling brothers and sisters across the country, if you know of a place where we can do the book release, uh, reach out to them, and if they okay with it, reach out to me. We don't need a lot of space because it's a book signing. It's not a traditional lecture. Of course, if they have mm-hmm. space for a lecture, we will entertain a conversation before we start signing books. But mm-hmm. if you know of a place, you know, for example, in Chicago, we used the African restaurant. Detroit was at an outdoor festival. You know, New York City, Atlanta, we will be at a, a, at a yoga studio. Florida, we will be at a 510, uh, I believe that's like a nightclub type setting. So, we don't need a lot of space. Something that's about the size of a restaurant or a, or a barbershop would be sufficient for us to do the book signing. I just want to get the book out there for as many parents as possible because they need the information. Now, mm-hmm. for those who are not able to come to a book signing because they don't live close enough to one or not able to arrange one, uh, they can order the book online at uh, drumarjohnson.com, but it does cost 10 more dollars online. Book signing price is 50 mm-hmm. Online is 60 Plus, you have to pay ten dollars for the shipping and handling as well. So it is fifty, you know, if you get it from me live and in person. But it's seventy, sixty plus ten for shipping if you order it online. Well, I want to make a statement right now. I, I believe I'm going to come up to your book signing in Harlem on October the 30th. And anybody think they might ride up with me or want to maybe put together a little bus tour? You know, because when Professor Carl Tom Jones made his world premiere of his Independence Day project, it was in Harlem. And I just drove right on up there and had myself a good time with family. Powerful, powerful. Yeah, absolutely. Powerful. Well, Dr. Umar Abdul Johnson, could you tell us again about how people can uh, reach out to you to make uh, to join the um, membership club and, and how to make a contribution and donation? And I uh, am suggesting if any of you out there are contractors and you want to make uh, 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 some history because it's going to open eventually and it's going to be historical and you would want to have your name attached to that you know pick a room say I'm going to help to build this so 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 contractors room you know each uh, a contractor can just pick a room you don't have to even do the whole school just pick a room say this is the so-and-so room this is the so and so so room, you know, and and then you have your name plaqued out on on front. You know, this some this a lot that we could do as a people instead of running from our people. But uh, give us exactly. a give us a, a contact information again. Uh, will do, Bob. And let me make this real quick point to what you just said. It would take us two more years, on average, to raise the money to pay for the HVAC system to be repaired. As you said, brother David, we will get it. But do we want to wait two more years? Mm. That's the question. I don't want to wait two more years. Mm. I want to have it done by the new year. And also, if there's an HVACer out there who says, listen, I'm, I, don't, I don't care enough about Dr. Umar or Black Voice to, to, to donate my time, no problem. Can you put me on a payment plan? Mm-hmm. Can you put me on a payment plan? Can I give you maybe half the money up front and then maybe $5,000 a month or $10,000 a month? If they can even put us on a payment plan, Brother David, we can work with them that way. There's so many different ways we can get this done, but I'm just disgusted that we don't really have black contractors stepping up to help us uh, with these repairs the way that they promised me that they would Mm. uh, while we was raising the money. But to join the Loyal Donors Club, go to DrUmarJohnson.com. Also, to join the Loyal Donors Club, you can text message me, 215-989-9858. I repeat, 215-989-9858. Nine eight five eight, and you could be a loyal donor from anywhere in the world. Fifty dollars, a hundred dollars, two fifty dollars, five hundred or thousand dollars a month. Bronze, silver, gold, platinum, a diamond. But also continue to make your regular random donations. 
dollar sign FDMG school on the cash app. That's dollar sign FDMG school on the cash app or FDMG Academy on PayPal. And that's paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Text me if you want the mailing address for of the donations. I look forward to seeing everybody in Harlem, mm-hmm. October 30th, Atlanta, November the 19th, Nat Turnerland, Virginia, November the 11th, and Fort Lauderdale, Florida, December the 10th. And don't forget, 10% off Ifatunde Apparel on DrUmarJohnson.com and the passcode to get your 10% off discount to get your hoodies, your hats, your T-shirts, and your face mask at DrUmarJohnson.com. The password is UPRISE to get your 10% discount. Make sure you uprise because that's what we're doing. We're having an intellectual insurrection and a political economic uprising. Wow, I didn't know you had face masks too. Listen, everybody, go to his website and see all that he has. See what level you can make a commitment to. I know the first of the month, I'm going to make me a commitment. I don't know how much, but there ain't going to be no thousand dollar commitment. But I'm going to make me a commitment for sure because I ain't got a lot, but I got enough to uh, invest in my children's future. That's how much I got. Appreciate that. 